everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm working on the second film for or video for um, my year for June and this is growth. Now, as you know, on the first video, what we did, let me bring it back up here. On yesterday's video, we just did our main page, okay? And I showed you the good, bad, and the ugly of my uh, creations, which look kind of like this. And now I'm working on the next page, and then this page I'm just going to put together, and then the following video, um, we're going to do a little lesson, okay? So that's going to be on this page. We're going to do a lesson. So right now what I've done is I've just, I'm taking my other um, copies that I had made here and I am just cutting out this girl here. Oops, she's, I just cut her out. And I'm not doing real fancy cuttings on this. I'm just cutting around enough so that, you know, we're not looking at all the background. We're just looking at the girl, all right? So um, these are the other pieces that I wanted to put into this. So we're going to get rid of this white. And again, this is just, I took my journal, I threw it on my copier, and I made a copy of the picture. That's all it is. So let's get this out of here. This one looks really dark, but she's the one that I did in that 12 shades of gray. So, and I really like her. All right, so I want this green to come off her cap. And I'm, what I'm doing is basically just making myself a, <clears throat> a memory of where I came from, where I've gotten to, and how much more I can learn, right? So that's what I'm doing right here. I just want to put these guys in here. I think they'd look cool. So we're going to glue those guys down there. This girl, I'm going to glue her right here and of course this is going to be our book review and actually we may do the book review tomorrow i'm not sure what order these videos will come out i know that the pages will come in order but somewhere in there i'm going to have my book review <clears throat> all right so i'm going to do the same thing here i'm just going to glue it down with the elmers and i'm going to make sure i've got lots of glue on the page so that it sticks very well and there she is there All right, She's there. Now I know last time I glued on the back of the sheet. I just didn't feel like gluing on the back of the picture this time. There's no right or wrong way, as you all know in mixed media. You do it however you feel comfortable doing it. <clears throat> all right, so she's down. I'm not worried. Well, that's not coming up. So good, she's down. Now let's get this one in here. And I love these girls. Each one of these girls just um, reminds me of the journey that I've taken um, in art and how it's grown. And how every day when I pick up any type of art supply, um, I continue to grow. So, that's what's fun about all this. Alright, I need my... Use this because I don't have my other thing around. All this is, is this is actually used for on cakes. This one isn't because it's dirty. I use it in the art world, but, um, and it's just a flatten. That's all. Charlie Tees. So let's get this girl put down. So how do you think you've grown in your art? Um, is there something you've noticed that you're growing quicker at or better at or you want to practice at? What part of it, you know, is something that you feel you want to work on? Because that's the only way we can grow is by practicing and learning and working, right? She looks so dark, but she's actually not that dark. Just my copier made her that way. All right, so these girls are in. Okay, so now <clears throat> my book review. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. All right, guys, I found this quote that I want to put in here. 
and it says strength. and growth only through continuous I'm sorry come only through continuous effort and struggle struggles so through And this quote was by Napoleon Hill, I believe. Where'd it go? Oh, I lost it. Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. So, yeah, you can struggle with um, drawing a face. You can struggle with painting a pretty picture. You can struggle with all kinds of things, okay? Um, and, again, I'm specifically talking about art. I'm sure the other girls um, throughout this process will talk about, you know, other parts of growth. Um, but then again, maybe not. Maybe they'll be talking about art also. I don't know. But where I'm coming from is from the art perspective. And had I not continued to do the struggles and the effort, um, I would not have made it to where I am today in my art journey. So this is for today. Now, before I go, I want to show you one other thing that I did. Okay, as I was teaching, or I'm teaching, as I was learning through my art journey, and we're going to do our book review tomorrow, um, I started doing things like making out, making journals, okay? And let me show you, hold on. This was the first journal I ever made. And I'll just explain to you how I did it. And it's kind of funky, but hey, it works. Um, this is a waffle box. I think it's Ego Waffles. Could be a no-name brand. I don't know. This is a waffle box that I took. I cut off the ends. I cut off the sides, the flaps, you know, the things that hold it down, um, all that. I went to our closet and I got newspaper. And I took three sheets of newspaper and I just glued them together. And then I cut them or tore them approximately the size of the box, okay? And then I actually took screws. See the screw right there? <laughs> I screwed this book together. All right, so there's the screws. And then I decided that I was going to start collaging. And I've always been creative. I've always um, been doing some type of creation, okay? So this, you know, people ask me, well, how'd you learn how to do that? I, I don't know. I just decided that I was going to make a book, and those are the supplies that I had on hand at that time. So um, many of you know this book. It's called the I Am book, and it's, it's my journey of figuring out who I was or who I am um, without my job. So this is just, I'm giving you a little bit of insight here as to, you know, how I grew. This is paper towel. This is packaging off crayons. Um, just pieces of scrap paper. This is a stencil. This is actually a piece of um, napkin that I had run through an embosser at one point or something. A cuddle bug maybe. And again, this is just pieces of paper that were left over. That I, This is what I did. I just... I did this. Um, I, you know, basically I am sweet. I am color. I am this. I am that. 
Um, but again, I used what I had, a little bit of bling, um, magazine, pictures, uh, this is just a bunch of books. <laughs> I love this picture. Reminds me of me and my husband. <laughs> Um, these are all paper towels that at the time I was using some kind of spray on. All right, so anyways, the, the whole point to this is, um, first of all, use what you have. And you're not going to learn how to do anything unless you just start doing it. You have to learn. Um, eh, that was a very sad day. I remember that day very clear. I remember exactly where I was, too. Um, <clears throat> here you go. Only if you spread your wings will you know if you can fly. And that's so true. So anyways, this was my very first journal that I made. This is paper towel. Um, and again, it's out of a waffle box and a bunch of newspaper. Now I wanted to show you this other journal um, that I made. And again, oops, this is at the beginning of my journey. I had ordered something that came in this box, okay? And this box opened like this, and then it had these flaps that opened like that. And that's the box. All right. So I decided I was going to make something out of it. So I took it, and this is just a scrapbook paper. This is just um, like a duct tape. And this is fabric. And I just took this fabric, put it down. I put these in um, to hold this piece of plastic here, which is a little pocket. Okay. Um, this is scrapbook paper. Again, more fabric. I put this in here, um, again, with brads. This is just a piece of plastic that I can use to create, whether it's um, paint or whatever. I can put it over here on this plastic to use it. These flip down. <coughs> okay. And then what I did, this whole book comes out. All right, so this is just the cover. Now this book I made, um, here's some eyelets that I put in. Here is, I just um, um, put in and knotted some, I don't know, this is hemp cord or whatever this kind of cord is. I put in this little pocket. It's a welcome brochure or something that's got some stuff in here that I was going to use in the journal. This is just a file folder. I started gluing just leftovers down on. No idea what I was doing. And scrapbook paper. This is a scrapbook paper. This has got um, a dryer sheet glued down on it. And it's just another file folder. Scrapbook paper. It's just a piece of burlap. Peanut butter toast crunch. Put that in here. Um, left a pocket here. Okay. Uh, this is just something that was purchased. Um, some type of a label. I don't know. So I just started sticking. And the reason I'm showing you this. Oh, there's those little things. Um, another piece. that I stuck those in there. And I want a couple of those out. There we go. Leave those in there. Um, so... I think the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you that everybody grows. Everybody um, does not start out as a fantastic journal maker or a fantastic bookmaker or, you know, a perfect artist. There's no such thing. Everybody has to learn through a certain, um, this is a Hello Kitty, <clears throat> everyone has to learn through a certain process and the more you do in your art the more you will grow in your art so just a little insight as to where I came from where I've gotten to so far and I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I'll be glad to answer you it may take me a couple days depending on how the chronic pain is doing to get back to you but I always answer the questions all right, so here's our quote for today. Strength and gro growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. And that is so very true. So think about it and think about how you actually have grown in your art world. If you have to, go back and get your very first piece that you did. 
and look at the difference. And, you know, I've heard some people say, well, I throw them away. No, 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 no. I don't ever throw them away because I want to see where I came from. I want to see how I progressed. And maybe I did something back then that I really like that I've lost now. For example, lips. Okay, I really like the way I did them at first. I did them, you know, a different um, style. So, you know, there's things about the old the bad and the ugly that you can learn from or you can you know um, continue to grow with so that's my spiel for today on growth um, our next video we are going to do a lesson on these lovely pages all right so i hope you guys have enjoyed as always have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching bye Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!